this is what I'm going to tie for you today is my jungle cock Midas. So I've got a bit of a cold, so if you know, can't understand me. Uh, well, you have to have to wait for subtitles. In the hook, I've got a Fuller's Mill, size 12. That's that. The thread I'm using is a UTC in 70. I'm just going to bring that back to roughly. About that. That'll do me. Right. The dubbin I'm going to use for it is the Fiery Brown Artisian dubbin. So, it's the first time I've used this with with this fly. So, we'll see how it goes. I've tied one before and uh, earlier. It looked, it looked fine, looked great. So it's just a matter of the float inside of it. A lot of people use different materials for them. But uh, mainly seals fur. But seals fur isn't seals fur nowadays. Alright, let's get a few turns on this. Get it going around. There we go. Then let's try and get this a little bit tighter down here. Want plenty of turns of it on. Well, do you see it's very spiky already. So once we've got to that stage, what I do now is tie the legs in out the back as long as you don't drop them. So we just line them up. That'll do. Do your side. Why don't you just bring them just past the back. That's where I'll bring them to. And that'll stick out, don't matter. A few turns up and trim away this stuff. There we go. I'm do my side. Make sure they're even. So just get a couple of turns, push them in, have a look. That'll do, mate. Put them away. <coughs> right. Now, just brush that dubbing back a touch, just to bring a touch of that out. That's all you need. Don't want to wreck the legs. I know on the originals they gave them a lot of stick, but uh, the thorax on this will be able to bring some more out of that. So once you've got your legs on, and get a bit more dubbing. Get it whacked on. It don't matter if it's a bit thick, don't matter. Because you're only going to build the thorax part. Get a few turns. Let's have a look at that. And this will automatically pull them legs in a bit as well. So let's pull them in, get a few turns there, and start coming forward a touch. Tighten that up. And come in from, pull it all back, a couple of few turns. All right. Now you can scruff it a touch, pull all that out a bit, as you say, pulls out lovely, that'll do mate, that'll trap air bubbles, keep her up, that's lovely, right, now for the jungle cock, 
And it's a jungle cock feather that we're using. And this, believe it or not, makes it look really nice. So, I just stripped it back to that. Just get the right size feather. Just measure them up and have a look before you commit to it. Because it's a bit of a thick stem on them, don't bend it back, cut it off. And once you've got it to that stage, get a grip of it. And then just pull your thread down out of the way. Just wet the fibre slightly. And around. Touching turns with it. That'll do, mate. Work up in between the fibres, get a few turns on it, push your thread out of the way, and get up tight and snip that off. As you say, that looks really nice. Right, get a few more turns on it. I'm not bothered about it stopping on right on top all the time because it'll only be on the water i only leave my dries on the water 10 seconds pull off if it's just going down slightly and you move it below the surface in subsurface that's when this fly is really really good just below the surface so i've got now a little bit of gold dubbing It's got a make on it. I don't think it does. But that's it. It's like a real wispy gold dubbing. So, get out there. Just wet your fingers, pull everything back, and create a little collar just there. Look, like that. It ain't coming from. A little black fibre there that's doing me head in. So I'm not rid of that. Right. Now, let's build the head. Not too much of one. Tony wants a small one. Now, a lot of people don't put any liquid stuff on the uh, when the tying off dries i like to put just a little touch on the end just a little touch because i only use three turns just to tie them off once that's on she ain't coming undone on you that's that and what you can do you can get your dubbing brush and just pull a touch of that gold out as well. Push it back. Just so it brings it to life a bit with a bit of gold. If you like what you've uh, seen with the videos, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you would please, it all helps. And I'll uh, keep putting some flies on that catch you some fish and this will definitely catch this will definitely catch because them white bits on the edge just look like uh, wing tips <coughs> so uh, you can give that a right good try well you can actually cut the bump all the way like that Let's cut them right back. And that will make it sit 
right in the subsurface. Um, so, if you want to see how to tie it again, it's on John Kirk Fly Tying on YouTube. So, hope you like that. Thanks very much for watching.